Janë shtuar të huaj të cilët të reklamojnë në Shqiprin dhe vlerat e saj turistike, por jo vetëm, dajnë do të shkojmë në Holand e një bloger i famshëm si Tom, i cili pas një përvoje shumë të mirë në Shqipri, ka ndarë eksperiencen e ti në rjetës sociale. Tom ka qenë për para disa kohesh në Tiran, fillimisht, po ju ja pak nga atmosfera cilin Tom ka përcjel dërrejt e sociali, qëfari ka pëlqyur në Tiran dhe qëfari ka për për shtypet, dhe për pas këthejme për dënë më shumë informacionet dhe për të pasur një intervjist live me të. Ndjekim. Let me show you why I think Tirana here in Albania is a really interesting place. Next to the flag is the majestic opera house with fancy terraces full of hip people. We're next to it a mosque and a clock tower. We are in the Balkans, so obviously massive statues, but also a tank on the middle of... Let me show you why I think Tirana here in Albania It's a really interesting place. Next to the flag is the majestic opera house with fancy terraces full of hip people. We're next to it a mosque and a clock tower. We are in the Balkans, so obviously massive statues, but also a tank on the middle of a square. A huge communist style building with a really beautiful painting. The mountains looming large over the city. Beautiful flag of Albania. It's the eagle, here's the sign. A modern architectural skyscraper. A massive orthodox cathedral. And a very pink building. I told you Tirana is a really interesting place to visit. <laughs> Si kur se në bjullë dhe në vitin e ti, u thash që Tirana është një vend interesant, i themi më më gjesë blogerit, Tom Grond. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We are fine, how are you? Good, good. Unfortunately, not in Tirana anymore. A, nuk është në ti thot, jam mirë thot, për fatkesisht thot, nuk ndodhe më në Tiran. Where do we have this connection from? Nga e kemi këtë lidhje. I am back in Holland. Okay. So, Tom would like to know more about your experience here in Tirana. Uh, we were watching a video, a TikTok video, I believe so, uh, where you have been describing Tirana and why Tirana is an interesting place. So, tell us, tell us more. Na trago pak mushum se Tirana tish duke kaj interesante. So when I arrived, um, I had no uh, knowledge about what it would be like or or anything. So I just came Kurier, to the city and I walked on to the big massive square. And I really just liked it because there were so many contrasts. Uh, as I, as I seen it in a, showing in the video, pra, um, the modern skyscraper, the opera house, the hip, super hip people. Uh, on the terrace, drinking cocktails, and then next to it, there's a mosque, there was the tank uh, on the square, the, the beautiful statue, um, yeah, it was just really outgoing and a really cool cultural mix of people that were all super laid back, and, and I thought I looked up a little things on the internet, then I sat down, and then everyone said, oh, there's nothing to do in Tirana, it's boring, and then I thought, wait, That's ah, not true, it's not boring, it's like Tirana every city has its cool things to do and uh, places to see, so I wanted to debunk that, I wanted to show people, wait, it's not boring, it's actually there are really cool things to do. The kjo është gjëja të cilë unë dhe në përmjet kësa i videoje, që Tirana i ka gjitha këto të mira, but your friends told you that in Tirana you have nothing to do? Yeah, that Tirana is boring, who did lie to you? Kusht ta ka të prashë, mishtë të tu ta ka të thënë që Tirana është e mërzishme dhe nuk ja zhë qëfar të bësh? Who told you that? So I pretty much, I looked it up on the internet, so I was looking for like things to do and everything, everything directs you straight to the beach, to other cool places in Albania, but no one talks about Tirana, then I asked a couple people and they said, no, go to the beach, go there, do see this, and I was like, no, I want to experience the city, and I think I, yeah, I stayed in the city and I actually really liked it. Ah, continue, I'm translating. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, në regull, e ka përfunduar të regimin e ti. So, what did you like the most here in Tirana? Qëfar të pëlqemu së shumë të këtë Tirana? You have done a story, by the way, as long as we are here. You have done a story. Salad, sushi, and sparkling water, all for $22, right? Pra ka bërë një story në Instagram, ku ka shkruar një salat, sushi dhe uit gazuar, 
uh, për 22 dolar. Si thën, për 22 mil e And you think that that's cheap, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Dhe ti mendoj që kjo është një vlerë ullë, dhe shlirë. Yeah, sometimes I feel, um, uh, how to say, a bit bad saying these things, because I understand for people in Albania it's maybe not cheap. Um, for example, I am <laughs> originally based in Dubai, but one beer in Dubai can easily cost you about $20 just for one beer. So if you then come to Albania, then for me it's really cheap. Dubai, edhe sigurisht një bir, më duke se tha, kushton të rreth 20 dolar, e bir cost $20, if I got it correct. Okay. Yeah, a beer një bir 20 dollar kështu që nëse krasoj me këto shtete cila ta i ka uftuar, sigurisht që Shqipria i duke t'i lirë. Ah, uh, I want to connect uh, the, the, this question that my colleague uh, did to you with another thing that you said. That, uh, that a room here in Tirana, so a night in Tirana costs 100 euros and 100 euros for you is also a good price. E, për ta lidhur me pytjen e Florit, e ka thënë gjithashtu që një nat, 100 euro, është një të shmimi mirë për në qëndruar në Tiran. Jështë yeah. dukur një vlerë e lirë, e ullet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it is a cheap room because everywhere you travel in Europe, është lirë, if you find nowadays a hotel room e for 100 euros, which is like clean, modern, nice, and then on top of that, it has a really good view. It's impossible to find in Europe. I was in Prague after or in Budapest and prices for a similar place in, in, these, in these cities would be double the price easily. Pozicion shumë të mirë dhe po tregon eksperiencen e ti në Prag, që pas tiranës ka shkuar atjet dhe e gjenë dyfishin e këti të shmimi, thot, nëse do të qëndrosh pak a shumë e të njëtat kushte, përfshirë uh -huh. dhe lokacionin, uh -huh. pra rrët 200 euro. How long did you stay in Tirana? For sa, how many days? Sa gjatë ke qëndruar në Tiranë? Për sa dit? Unfortunately, I was only there for two days. Uh, Fatë kësisht, oh. kam qëndruar atje vetëm për 2 dit. Uh -huh. And what else did you do? In two days, like... Dhe qëfar arriti të bësh në dy dit në Tiran? Not just I eating like... salad and sushi. Ja vetëm salad dhe sushi besoj. <laughs> I really like to get lost in the city, so to Ma feel the vibe. So I walked around a lot. Qytet, I went um, walking around, find some really shumti, nice restaurants, get some places to lunch, enjoy the sun, enjoy the good weather. Kam in Albania, it's already good weather. I tell you, not in Europe, it's not. Uh, you sit in the sun, and and Europe, nuk you have a drink, soak up the vibes. I visited the mosque, the church, um, all these kind of things I did. Yeah. What did you like the most? Flori asked you what did you do during these two days, but what did you like the most here in Tirana? Yeah. Except For the me, good the vibe most, and, the, I, and the weather. Perverse yeah, so, no, I, I, energy is the I deal. I really like the, the feeling of the people being so relaxed and and everyone <laughs> drinking and sitting outside, having their espresso, I thought uh, she she after. After. Uh, it felt really relaxed. like everyone was super laid back and chill and yeah, just enjoying life. For me, that was a wonderful yeah, feeling because if you go to many other cities, ndryshe how uh, did you find out, in a way, about Albania? What it made you uh, come here for two days? What was the first in Albania? What was the first time in Albania? What was the first time in Albania? Yeah, I'm a world traveler. I have been to almost 160 countries. Uh, I like to explore the world. Uh, it's my full-time job, basically. Um, and I was in the north of Albania, in Tet and Lake Omani, uh, and I really liked it already back then, five years ago, really, really loved it. So I like to also visit the capital cities of every country, so I thought, oh, I've only been one time to Albania, and I think it's one of the few countries in Europe I only went to once. 
And I thought it's about time to also go to Tirana and to experience what the capital city of Albania is like. So you have been in Albania five years ago, you told me, and you have been in the north of Albania and you visited Seth and uh, Coman Lake. Lake. Tell us about uh, this kind experience, of experience. Yeah. Who told you about that these places? Really Kushtë të tregoj, në yeah, të pak më shumë për liqenin e Komanit, just, just translated very quick, uh, kjo ka qenë 5 vite më për para të liqenin e Komanit dhe në the, dhe duam të din paka shumë se qëfar i ka pëlqyër, si është një orë me vendin e tjerë. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really liked it because I came by car all the way from uh, e Northern Europe, I wasn't a 6 or 7 week qen, trip, e kam bërë and kisë, so kam I drove të through all, disa all of the Balkans. And then when we came to Albania, um, it was really rural and, and, and gorgeous up in the north. Uh, the mountains, we were driving around and there was like sheep and goats crossing the road. And it really didn't feel uh, like Europe, but you could sit down and everyone was... Uh, super happy to see tourists back then and uh, uh, an espresso for like 20 or 30 cents, I remember, was super cool. And then I went to Lake Komani. How much it was an espresso uh, at that time? Any... How much? 20? Sorry? How much did you, did you say that you spent for a coffee, for an espresso? I think 20 or 30 cents. <laughs> I thought you got her jewel, new zeta, but 30 Euro. cent, uh, per pier new cafe, pes vita ma per para na ato ko, na ato zona. Uh -huh. yeah. They believe it was so and cheap it, it for was you. So yeah, that we, that we <laughs> went to this lake and then there's the ferry on the lake. And ah, ka, I honestly, I, I mean, if you go to my, my, my blog or on my Instagram channel, that is really far away, there's the videos of how uh -huh. beautiful it is there. It, it didn't feel like I was in Europe, you know, I could be in like uh, somewhere in the Philippines or in Thailand with all these beautiful cars, mountains, and I was telling everyone, wow, this is a beautiful part of Europe, but in Albania, no one knows about it. So nothing comparing to Europe, right? The view. In Common Lake, I believe so. You are describing the view of Common Lake. Yes, Common Lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, your friends... Yeah, it's unbelievable, I believe you were saying. And then after Common Lake, you went to Theth. The past Lichini to Common Lake, you went to and uh, we did some hiking there. Um, hiking in Mali. Mm -hmm. Really, really gorgeous. Uh, just away from everything, I felt like, you know, I felt like it was a place that you just, just got lost and um, yeah, just soak up nature, be one with nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you have written even on your blog for uh, Places where to go and countries where you can spend so less of money that are very cheap. Would you put Albania to those countries, even though the, the blog that I was reading, it's a bit like earlier, if I may say. Të ki një blog ku shkruan edhe për vendet të cilat i sugjeron që janë të lira, pa që harë gjohë shumë pak leke, dhe pëse thotë flori, në fakt, kjo blog u është pak i vjetër, kjo artikull që e ti ta bërë. Do të ashtoj e Shqipri, po ashtu për të sugjeruar. But you have written there about Indonesia, Filipinas, or... Se ke atë ke folur për Indonezin, për Filipinas, në Laos, pra kërësish vendet të aziatike, Thailand, do të ashtoj dhe Shqipri në listën e këture vendeve? It's correct, you're right. This this blog is it's old. Po, it's, uh, I wrote that blog, maybe like five or maybe six years ago already. Vjetër, um, but yeah, honestly, I, I said I, uh, also on, uh, on TikTok in my videos, po, që vërteta, Albania TikTok, definitely is one of the mia, cheapest countries in Europe. And I think, and I was telling it Shqipria also to people uh, this weekend I met, it's like, it's so Europe. worth a trip from Europe, from here, you know, from Northern Europe, there are cheap flights. Um, why is no one really considering Albania as a tourist destination so much? Because uh, everyone just goes to Budapest, to Prague. Um, and then, and then it's worth uh, the money, you know, because it's getting really, really expensive in Northern Europe and in, in, in uh, all those places. And people are looking for alternatives.
Um, yeah, for Western Europeans, it's, it's cheap. It's a cheap destination, but it doesn't compromise in, in beauty. So it's really gorgeous. Um, and I haven't even seen your gorgeous beaches in Albania, but I really keen. I really love to go there too. Uh, so I will definitely be coming back and, uh, and also show everyone what the beach is like. Are you thinking to uh, come this summer or later in Albania? Po me ndonë të vish këtë verë, apo më vonë, to enjoy these amazing beaches? Për të shiuar këtë plajët për kolu e yeah, shma. Since, since now I have tasted uh, what Tirana is like, the vibe, the people, um, the welcoming, how I felt like in a country, and I've seen the north, I think now it's time for the beaches, and yeah, there's no better time, obviously, to come than in summer. Um, so yeah, I already put it high on my list. Uh, even for summer to, to come down to yeah. What would you suggest to Albanians? I mean, not something that in your eyes it looked bad, but maybe even something that uh, you think it should change. As a travel, as a big traveler and very known traveler. What do you suggest to Albanians? I mean, not something that in your eyes it looked um, yeah, I don't know something really. I mean, f I think um, we are so good and so, I think so for, perfect. Most, you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I think something that it, my advice for for Northern Europeans to come to Albania would be definitely uh, to rent a car. Get, oh, get yeah. that flight, pra, uh, rent a car, and explore. Go to the north, go to beaches. Because if you rent a car, you can actually see a whole country. You have the opportunity to see places. If you book a set holiday, you go from the airport to the hotel, and then you can explore around the hotel. So, no, this is a critic for public transportation in a way that is not very good. Që mos qëndrosh i izoluar për të shë mundësin për të shiuar edhe gjithë pamit. Kam diqka thot, tell us. The traffic from the airport, ah. it took me 55 minutes. No way, that's, that's a lot. Trafiku thot, nga aeroporti, drejt hotelit, pra drejt besoja fërqindrës e tirane, si ka janë dashur 55 minuta. What can we say when bloggers and travelers promote Albania? That's what we, uh, that's our pain too. Now that from airport we have to wait so such a long time uh, to come Fjori, Ana, into the city. Thot, Fjori, Ana, e keqe, një farë mënyre me shakaj, e në kuptimi që vinë yeah. shumë njerës, tash më është dhe të përbalim me trafiku nga ana tjetër. Yeah. Kur ka një boom turizmi. Uh, I'm very curious to know <laughs> about the comments on the social media on TikTok, for example, foreigners that comment, do they had uh, do they had the questions about Albania, something strange that yeah. you want to share with us or uh, comments that they have been sharing their experience in Albania. Also to you. Diçka që të kanë në bërë, disa nga komentet për shimul, kur kështë përndarë Shqipërin, qëpar të kanë thëndë një pyetje, apo ndo një komentë të quditëshëm, apo njerës cilët kanë darë eksperiencën e tyre të Shqipëris. Në të rego. Well, something that I noticed, but I'm sure that is from rival neighboring countries, was a lot of people say, oh, be careful, pickpockets, be careful, uh, he's gonna get kidnapped, you know, I think it wasn't to me, but I think there were people were telling that to each other, um, uh, in the comments, and I, I mean, obviously that's, that I complete, I, I don't know, like bullshit if be I can say that. Be careful that, that, you, um, that they will kidnap you, it was a comment. Yeah, so there are like a bunch of people. This thing yeah. never happened yeah, in Albania. Yeah, but the hate comments. Because you can't Yeah, I think it's uh, it's complete bullshit because <laughs> if there's one country for example, where you need to be careful of pickpocketing, yeah. it's not in Eastern Europe. I think it's like uh, in Paris, in Rome, in Amsterdam, in, in Barcelona. You know, and I didn't experience anything like this in, 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 in Tirana. I felt completely safe. Also, when I was traveling five years ago in Northern Albania, it's just those people have this image in their head from whatever from stories, and they're still like saying this but it's 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 completely bullshit. And uh, the good comments about Albania did anybody share his or her experience uh, into 
I don't know. I did yeah. any comments. Yeah, someone, for example, I commented you about comment going here. to mm -hmm. Kosovo because Kosovo was cheap, and you said that mm -hmm. you have been to Kosovo before, and you think that Kosovo is cheap too. So tell us more. Oh, How did you feel in Kosovo? The <coughs> bundle you comment for Kosovo, and that you never prepare for it. Yeah, I had this same amazing experience in Kosovo because I, Kosovo, I traveled back then in, in 2018 to Kosovo. Um, then I got uh, same to, the, to the north. And, and honestly, I had one of the most ex amazing experiences because uh, the culture of, of the people in Kosovo, like it's, it's Muslim country, super welcoming. I have traveled in many countries, in Pakistan, Iran, uh, all of the Middle East, Syria, uh, Iran. People are so welcoming. It's part of the culture. And there I experienced that I went into the mountains and I slept in the mountains and I ate and then the machine with the cart was broken. So the guy was like, oh, you cannot pay by cart. And I said, I have no cash. I really, I'm so sorry. And until the, the, the end of the, the story is that the family said, it's all right, you are one of our brothers, you're welcome. Um, and until today, so you didn't I'm still in contact sorry, with that I family. You, so you didn't pay that night? No, I had no money, I had no cash with me, and no. it was in the mountains. Okay, amazing. Yes, and that family said, you know what? It's all right. You are one of our uh, one of our friends, our mm. family. Uh, the, dinner, breakfast, and sleep was paid chen. for. And and until today, I am still in contact with that family because when I was in Tirana, uh, the guy, the young guy from the family, he wrote me a message, are you coming again to Kosovo? And I said, I'm so sorry, I wish I could come, but I didn't have time. That I believe that soon are you going again uh, in Kosovo, right? I really want to, when I come back in summer um, to Albania and to, I want to do really big part of the Balkan, so that the piece of the Yugo to Shqipri is the song that will be the new theme in Kosovo. Yeah. So, uh, another experience, a nice experience, people inviting uh -huh. you to Albania. I'm just curious, what about uh, maybe uh, bars, restaurants, hotels, even asking you for promotion? <laughs> I'm just curious, did, did somebody invited you? Because that's your daily job, in a way, traveling. And blogging. Uh, yeah. uh, a lot. I've seen so many messages passing by in my inboxes about uh, car rental companies, uh, private villas, um, every, everything uh, you can imagine that has to do with tourism, or bars and restaurants in the, um, from the most simple pizza, uh, pizza uh, joint until a fancy private villa, everything in between, they have, uh, have reached out, tried to reach out, yeah. and, uh, and invite me for my next time. Yeah. Okay, we would like to thank you.